Good morning, friends, and welcome to A Lovely Masterpiece of a Life. My name is Brittany Garcia, and I am so excited to have you here with me today. I wasn't planning on recording right now, but um, I'm making some banana muffins, and they are so good. This recipe is from Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons, and oh my gosh, I love these muffins. It is really chilly, really windy outside right now. It's like in the 60s and um, we're expecting to have some really cold weather today and tomorrow and so I figured I could make some really yummy recipes today and do like a cozy fall day, stay at home with me, um, we'll do some cleaning, I'll just take you along with my day with whatever I do. I'm going to make a broccoli cheddar soup later that is so good. So let's get right into this. I've already started to mash up the bananas so you need six medium bananas and then this is oil and brown sugar and i'll show you the recipe so that you can screenshot it and have it to make for yourself Dropping 
everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever wanna go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think Done to the shop so far. So over here we have one seating area, we have a bench, we have another seating area here and there and there and this is what it's looking like so far. Hi baby, you want to get out? Yeah? Oh, I see a little sweetie. <laughs> Okay, so I have quite a bit of things to clean. I'm gonna clean the carpets, vacuum them really well, and um, shampoo them I'm using my Thieves cleaner, which is over here, because we get a lot of heavy traffic in here and they are so nasty and gross. Um, obviously, we'd love to have some washable rugs in here eventually, but for now we have these. So let me show you a close-up of what they look like right now. Over here I have my Rocket vacuum cleaner. Love this, I've had it for a while. And then I have my Hoover. I bought this one used and I saw, who was it? Till vacuum to his part, Ashley had this in a few years, like a few years ago. And so I got one last year and I've really enjoyed having it. I use it a ton. Here's what this is looking like. You can see there's some dirt right there and just looking pretty stained right here right here right here so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is spot treat the big spots after I vacuum it really well and Bethany's eating an Oreo you like that <laughs> hi baby what you doing here is this one um, as well this one gets a lot of foot traffic because the door is right there and then this is the walkway it's kind of small um but yes definitely needs to be washed again and i did this that long ago probably about two months ago i washed all of them so we have some friends over <laughs> they're having a good old time i'm just gonna clean this while they're hanging out
looking so good. Love it. I am so pleased with how this turns out every time I do it. They were filthy. Especially this one like on this corner because that's the first thing people step on as far as carpet goes when they come in here from the street. Um, one thing to note is that they do bubble up a little bit. Um, this one bubbled up more because I didn't get underneath the feet. But you let it dry and those move out within a couple days. So they're not that wet either once you suction all the water out. So I'm very pleased with my progress here today and I think we're gonna head back home now. So little Addie's getting kind of fussy. So we're gonna head home, make our broccoli soup, broccoli cheddar soup. And I'll go edit or work on some other things. You are so cute. Okay, let's clean up. Okay, I got my coffee. It is like in two hours after I got here, maybe an hour and a half. No, two hours. It's been two hours, but it took me an hour and a half to do all that. We're gonna head home and make some dinner. We have a friend coming over for dinner. He unexpectedly came into town, so Roberto and him are hanging out. And I'm gonna make some broccoli cheddar soup. So let's go head on home and make a cozy dinner. This is the soup I'm gonna make tonight. The whole recipe is on gimmedelicious.com and it looks like it's gonna be delicious. So let's get started making this for dinner. Two. Two. Three. Okay, four tablespoons of flour and then you whisk it together. With the whisk, to make a roux. And you let the flour cook a little bit so it doesn't taste like a dough. Let me show you what this is looking like. So it's supposed to get a little golden like this. Okay, and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add your stock. You can do chicken or vegetables. So I'm gonna do half or whatever I have of this vegetable one to finish it off and then the chicken one. I might do a little more since I'm adding more broccoli. Okay, and then you add this in. I'm gonna do three cups because I'm doing a little more broccoli. Mix that together and then you add your seasonings. I'm gonna add in your broccoli. I'm spilled it all over the place. Okay, mine is a little more liquid, so I'm gonna do four cups. little hack if you run out of cooking stock you can do um, bouillon add a bouillon to your water so it would be a teaspoon of this nor um, caldo de pollo and you're gonna do about a teaspoon for every cup and that's how you can make your own chicken broth if you don't have any it adds a lot of flavor Mix that up. It's looking so yummy. And now I'm gonna take my carrot, chop off the end, and I'm gonna grate this. 
into my using my grater. I'm just gonna grate it with sugar on this cutting board first. It's easier. What this is looking like, you're gonna want it to come to a boil and then you're gonna cover it, let it cook for about 15 minutes. And then you add in your, oh, you add in your cheddar cheese and the half and half at that point. You don't want to do it too soon because sometimes the cream can get cut. Um, is that how you say it in English? Se corta la crema in Spanish. I can't remember what it is in English. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I'm going to reduce, reduce this to a simmer. Put a lid on it. Let that cook down, and in the meantime, I'm gonna shred my cheddar cheese. store dashing and I have quite a bit of work to do tonight. I have to make some flyers for our shop and um, and then after that I'm gonna rest. I've been very tired lately so I think I'm gonna end my video here and since I already showed me cleaning up the kitchen once today I think I'll leave it at that because I really just want to relax and I have a few things to do in here but I don't really want to film it so thank you guys so much for joining me today on this cozy day and I feel like we got a lot done even though it was kind of a, like it felt like a lazy day but yeah join me next time guys um and I really appreciate every single one of you so much and know that each one of you has such a big purpose in this world and so I can't wait to see you fulfill that. And my arm is tired, so my camera is shaky. But I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, 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 oh,